Jeff, what am I doing? You're warming your genitals by the fire. No. <laughs> now, when you say genitals, you imply there's more than one. I'm but sorry, you have your genital, your, your one testicle, one. <laughs> sorry about that, very insensitive of me. I'm very excited for the Oscars this weekend. Oh, this is big, this is big. This yeah. is bigger than Ragnarok was last week. Yeah, that turned out to be just a oh. farce. A farce? a farce? It was like Y2K, you remember Y2K? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was the other one, Mine Apocalypse? Oh yeah, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> you know what I felt bad for is during the Mine Apocalypse season, like the Mayans were saying, look, we didn't say this. And everyone was like, oh no, it's the Mine Apocalypse. And they were like, we're not saying this. And they were like, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that, yeah. What you read it? Just a little, a little book called The uh, Undead Pool. What's it about? It's about a pool that's undead. Is it vampires? Y yeah, sh yeah. You haven't read this book, have no, you? No, I haven't. Uh, well, let me tell you, it's a New York Times bestselling uh, author. Um, no, it's described as Buffy the Vampire Slayer meets Tank Girl. Well, if there's anything that our demographic would be interested in... I don't know, it seems pretty good. It's, uh, you know, it's about a vampire and uh, demons and such. Yeah, yeah. I think there's uh, some other things in it. Is a swimming it? pool, there's a swimming pool. Yeah. Oh, uh, but it takes place in Cincinnati, apparently. Uh, that's where all the vampires are. <laughs> You ever come across a Cincinnati vampire? Is that a sex thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, baby, you want a Cincinnati vampire? What does it mean? Anything you want? <laughs> you ever been to Cleveland? <laughs> I have. Why'd you ask? It sucks. <laughs> How can you say that? Well, I'm from Cleveland. I'm from Cleveland. Oh, you're from Cleveland, vampire. so you're allowed to say bad things about it. A little levity, a little levity. All ah, right, okay. levity. Oh, because I like Cleveland. No, it's a great place, great town, good folks. You're frightened to go back there now, aren't yeah, you? I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The show's going to be good tonight. It's going to be killer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I can't keep a straight face when I say oh. that. Oh. Yeah, even the horse is laughing. Look, even the horse is laughing. <laughs> It's going to be... Are you going to the Oscars on Sunday? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. I got a, got a date. Who are you going with? Gary Busey. <laughs> you guys are going to rock the red carpet. Yeah, man. It's going to get right. crazy. We'll be right back with the show, everybody. We'll be right back. Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Netflix. Your TV shows and movies, your way. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Student some candy is a great day here in LA. It's only two days to the Academy Awards. <gasps> My nipples are perky. <laughs> you got the countdown clock for the Academy Awards? There you are, countdown to the clock. Is that it? Take it away. <laughs> I wish we hadn't bothered. That's terrible. Anyway, the Oscars are on Sunday. It's kind of like the Westminster Dog Show, except there's more blow dryers. And <laughs> no one poops on the red carpet. Unless Jack Nicholson is going. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do Jack Nicholson? Uh, no, no, I don't. I mean, I did once, but I can't. 
We've all done Jack Dyson. Dyson. that. Some people call the Oscars the gay Super Bowl. I don't think that's really fair, because uh, it's balanced. Uh, I mean, look at this year. Uh, the Oscars, uh, Ellen DeGeneres is hosting, Bette Midler is performing, there's going to be a tribute to The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, I take it back. Even the Tony Awards are like, this is a pretty gay award show. <laughs> We're not judging, I'm just saying, it's... <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Every year the Academy gives out honorary awards. This year they gave one to Angela Lansbury. Do we have a picture of Angela with it? There you are, Angela. <laughs> I think that joke may be up for a lifetime achievement award. Yes, yes. This year's Oscars are being held a week later than usual so that they don't have to go against the Winter Olympics. Good move on the Academy's part. Never make the viewers choose between seeing a bunch of A-list movie stars and the curling semi-finals. <laughs> because you'll lose, Academy. <laughs> that curling, I kind of liked that during the Olympics. Yeah, I get kind See when the ladies curling, when they get down and they go... Mm. <laughs> they just, like, they go right down and then they just push your stone. <laughs> 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 Just gonna, oh, and then the other girl's like, oh, it's gotta move over here. <laughs> it was like, push it over there, yeah, let's move it, go, go, go. I'm like, oh, man. Anyway, uh, the uh, Academy Awards, I haven't seen most of the movies nominated. It's sad, but what I know about them comes from the porn knockoffs that are already out here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, poor knockoff. They make them every year. Instead of Captain Phillips, there's a... Uh, Captain Phallus. Captain Phallus. <laughs> Dallas Buyers Club? Uh, Dallas Boners Club. Okay. Uh, any more? Yeah, the, uh, the Moan Ranger. The Moan Ranger, yeah. <laughs> Ball is lost. Uh, Philowena. Philowena. Blue ass mine. Uh, her and her and her. That's a good one. It's good, it's a good one, yeah. Shaving Mr. Banks. I like that one. Yeah. I wish the nominees uh, the best of luck, because winning an Academy Award can change your life. I know, because I won an Oscar last year. Thanks, everybody. No, no, you know what? You know what? Let me just rephrase that. Guy. All right, all right, let me rephrase it. Let me rephrase it then. All right. Oh, too late. I. I was in a movie that won an Oscar. Brave, it won an Oscar, and I, I, and I did a voice in that movie. So that counts as me getting an Oscar. Not legally, obviously, but on Wikipedia. Right, so it's true, so it's true. Yeah. Right. I like how some of the uh, nominated actors really pulled out all of the stops for their roles. Jonah Hill, a terrific actor. He wore a fake penis in The Wolf of Wall Street. It's true, it's true. <laughs> Judy Dench wore one in Philomena as well, I think. I, you know, she didn't have to, but once she got it on, she wouldn't let the prop guy take it off. She was like, oh. Touch my junk and I'll gut you like a fish! <laughs> Certainly, Dame Judy. I like that. I like when you bow like that. That's nice. Well, why don't you bow? Um, how dare you. How dare you. Anyway, when the nominations were announced, there was some outrage that both Tom Hanks and Oprah Winfrey got snubbed. And I'm like, come on, Hollywood, when are you going to give Hanks a break? He's been stuck up in space, he's been ruined on a desert island, he's had his ship hijacked, he's even done this show. Oh, man. <laughs> man has suffered enough. <laughs> a lot of people are saying the American Hustle is the movie to beat. It's got an absolutely amazing cast. You've got Amy Adams' side boob in it, you've got uh, Jennifer Lawrence's side boob in it, you've got... Uh, Christian Bale's fat guy side boobs in it. <laughs> that movie has more cleavage than the weather report at Telemundo. I like the weather oh, report. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna rain so bad. <laughs> oh, look, it's all the rain's gonna be here, and then there's gonna be curling. <laughs> and then we'll sweep it, sweep it away. <laughs> oh, got myself excited, yeah, eh? Yeah, man. I am so turned on right now. <laughs> Did you like the women's curling last week at the Olympics? I did. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I like when they yell. I like when they yell at each other. <laughs> I they don't yell that yeah, much. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they throw it the, and they go, hey, 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 come on, come on, sweep, sweep, damn you. You know that old thing. <laughs> it's the only time you'll see a woman sweep these days. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. First of all, it was a joke. And secondly, guys, for the Oscars. <laughs> The hell, man.
Yeah. Guess to a commercial yeah, okay, break. I will. Tonight's program is brought to you by adult Oscar hopefuls Hobbit 2, Desolation of Log, and Men Who Iron 3. today, Joe. So it's before the Oscars. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Are you excited about the Oscars? Very excited. Very oh, I'm excited. So yeah, I, you know what? I hope wins that movie that you oh, like. That's, that's the one that's that I want. And I hope he wins too, that one guy. He's that, so well, good, you know man. the guy I like, the guy with the things? Oh, and then, man, and the then hard, they're like, oh, 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 oh like that. Then what? How could you? No. And then when they do the thing and they're like, oh, I'd like oh, to thank God. It's so intense. Great effects. Great effects. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I, I like it when they go up and they thank everybody who helped them. Who would you thank? Wow. <laughs> you? No, yeah. Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice. Well, you know, you've helped me a lot over the years. I'm here to help, man. I'm your, I'm your rock. <laughs> I'm your safe haven. I'm your quiet place. It's getting a little creepy. Now, no, isn't it? yeah. yeah I'm sorry. What time is it, Jeffrey Beard? It's three mail time. Time to take advice from a man who thinks binge watching means creepily observing people at an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> Is that a thing you just made up? Yeah, yeah, right now. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to help. I'm here to help you. <laughs> Play the jingle, would you? <laughs> yeah! Hey, Jeff, you want to get tweeted with me tonight? Well, all right! Hell to the metal, we're getting there soon. Drag me out of bed and gag me with a spoon. I need your love, I can't relax. Without your touch, I'm rolling to the back. Hey, do you remember this? Oh, yeah, it's little Drew Carey. Yeah, little Drew Carey. Yeah. Moon over Parma, bring my love to me tonight. And the price is right. Spain to your pants. You know, it's too fat now, this little Drew Carey. We're going to have to make a, a little thin Drew Carey. Yeah, you have to take the stuffing out of that thing, yeah. Ooh. No. <laughs> it's got a special holder right there. You stand there, little Drew Carey. Okay. That's nice. You talk to him. That's nice. Must get lonely back there. Are you mocking me? No, man. I'm saying it's nice to acknowledge. I, I'm telling you, I am sick of your judgmental behavior. You and your friend Miriam, who occasionally phones me. What the hell? Hello? Now, you listen to me, you Scottish son of a... Oh, I wish I could use stronger language on this network. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Craig Ferguson. Hello, Miriam. What is your second name again? Miriam Struthers. <laughs> Miriam Miriam Struthers? Miriam Struthers, that's my oh, name. Oh, Miriam Struthers. Struthers, yes. Excuse me uh, a second, everyone. I just have to have a quiet word alone oh. with Miriam. Stop <laughs> calling me, you old bitch. I don't need to take this from you. I'm your only viewer as far as I'm concerned, and you need me. You need me. I'll find you. I'll find you. <laughs> I turned into a pirate there. That was what <laughs> You I did. did. Are you a pirate, Murray? Or do you? Uh, uh, there'll be gold in me and uh, me booty. Uh. <laughs> S still here, matey. Uh. The pirate. A, pi a pirate, pirate Murray. What a surprise. It's almost as like somebody's drunk back there. <laughs> Somebody wishes they were drunk. Yeah, all right. No, all right. This is from Carl in Phoenix, Arizona. You ever been in Good Phoenix, place, Arizona? Nice oh, what a love place. It. You don't oh, want to go man. in the summer, though. Yeah, you'll yeah, explode yeah, with yeah, the yeah, heat. Right. You step out of your car and oh. puff. Ah, yeah. ah, ah. Carl uh, says, uh, Craig, how come you stopped dissing flamingos? Have you softened on them? No, I have not. I just forgot about them, but I hate flamingos, Jeff. Because they smell. Because they smell awful. They, flaming How do flamingos keep cool? Well, they pee on themselves. They pee on themselves. Let me tell you this. It is not cool to pee on yourself. 
<laughs> Unless you've got a medical condition. Right, then that's fine. Then that's it's fine. fine. That's fine. I'm yeah. not mocking anybody who has to pee on themselves. <laughs> Except flamingos. Except flamingos. You, ju you just peed on yourself right now, didn't you? <laughs> It's nice and cool in here now. Uh, this is from Lawrence in St. Paul in Minnesota. I don't know if you can tell, but Lawrence is in fact a flamingo. Oh, dear. Oh, wow. oh dear. Uh, Craig, did you know that this coming Monday is National Try Hockey for Free Day? Oh, no, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, this is uh, from Rog in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, have you ever... Have you ever uh, Rog? Uh, yeah, I've never heard that name before. It's one of those names you can't tell if it's a man or a woman. It could go either way. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, like Susan. Yeah, that's a very good... Hi, I'm Susan. Are you... Are well, you a man or a woman? I don't know. You can't tell. Uh, Craig, I just started dating a woman. Still, again, no, again. Still don't yeah, know. No, still no, don't no know. idea. Don't know. Yeah, I just started dating a woman who grew up near where you did in Scotland. Have any advice for me? Get out. <laughs> Get out. Really? So that means two of us got out of there. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Um, the, uh, this is from Leanne in Cohasset, in Massachusetts. You ever been there? Cohasset, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice what, town, nice town. What was your favorite part of your trip to Cohasset? Well, oh, I love the, uh, the Easterly, uh, portion. Easterly, uh... Easterly Cohasset? Co Easterly Cohasset. What does Easterly Cohasset have that Westerly Cohasset does not have? Easterly Cohasset has, uh, an unusual amount of marbles. They got a lot of marbles there. <laughs> You, you know, you ask me, you ask me. You just and make I, it. I can have that. No, I've been crying. I'm not making it. I'm, I'm, I'm working over here, man. Every night oh, you wiggle your arm. Oh, look at me. Oh, 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 you and your friend, Mariela. Oh, stick in your crap. I, I can't take it oh, anymore. I'm not going to take it from you. <laughs> what happened to us, man? I don't know, man. Something happened to us. Somebody hurt us. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't us. Somebody hurt us. Somebody hurt us, yeah, and I think I know who it was. A racist. racist. A you racist. racist. You, you hurt us. This. No, not the horse. You, man. You, you man. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, the horse is pointing at you. He's pointing at the horse. He's pointing at the horse. Kick You're his ass, man. Kick, kick his, his ass, ass secretary. Kick, kick his, his ass. ass. Come on. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Oh, Come on, my God. No. This is it. No, that's enough. That's enough. Oh, no. Calm down. Calm down. It's not worth it, everybody. It's not worth it. <laughs> Look, let's just try and get along, shall we? You're creating a panicky environment. <laughs> this is a hostile workplace. It's really good. All right, uh, uh, Leanne and Crassett says, uh, Craig, where do you come down on the age-old Batman versus Superman debate? Well, I don't even see it as a debate. You see, Batman has a lot of cool stuff, but Superman is, in fact, a superhero. Batman is a guy with a lot of super things. Do, are you, am I right? Absolutely true. Right, Absolutely right. So, they're not, it's not a competition. They don't have to, it's like chicken or fish. You can like both of them, right? Sure. It's like having sex with men or women. You can like both of them, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> It's like, uh, if your name is Susan, you could be a man or, or a woman. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you, Alfredo. Oh, it could okay. be many. Right. It could be many things. Yeah, exactly. One... Uh, what? I was just saying, yes, yes. <laughs> Agreeing with you. You said it, boss. You're, you got it. You're the, you're the, you're the... I am sick of that sarcastic tone. You know what? I don't know how this started, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over there and I'm, I'm gonna kick your ass. That's it. I'm gonna do it. Come on over. <laughs> come on over. Just g give me a minute, just... <laughs> what are you gonna do? Uh, me to death? Uh, you gonna hurt uh, me? What are you gonna do? Uh, rub your bony fingers against me? I'm turning myself on now, I'm turning myself on. <laughs> just give me, give me till the commercial's over and I'll make it over. All right, commercial over. break, we'll be right back. <laughs> A supremely talented actress, a good friend of this show, not of me personally, but she gets on with Jeff. Yeah, she's a lovely, lovely person. She's a very nice person. Her show, Rick and Morty, is on Mondays on Adult Swim. That's where all the kids are watching. Oh, now, yeah. Oh, the yeah. Adult They're swim. all over there. Yeah. Adult Swim. Don't, don't. Yeah. 
Do you watch the adults one? I do, I do, yeah. No. What do you watch? What do you watch? You watch uh, Adventure Time? Big, big fan of that. Big fan of that. Is that one adults one? I have I no know. idea. I have no idea. Okay, then. Uh, adults one. Take a look at this, everybody. Take a look. <laughs> Sarah Chalk, everybody. Sarah Chalk. Wow, is that leather? Are you wearing a um, leather dress? It is kind of. What well, kind maybe of it's it? Like, like maybe it's made of like I don't know plastic or something. I'm not. Oh, sure. you don't it's want like, to say it's made yeah, of leather yeah, in yeah. case. Yeah, yeah. It's leather though, isn't it? Is that pipe leather? <laughs> this is a leather pipe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I put the focus off of my leather on. No, there's no way the focus is coming you. off. That that's really that's very sexy. Are you going out somewhere later? You look good. I'm probably going to build a Lego tower. <laughs> that's probably what's on the agenda. Yeah. Really? What age is your kid? Four. Yeah, that's right. It's 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 pretty intense stuff. Yeah, no, I'm like kind of takes... moving. I'm in the the transition from Duplo to Lego right now myself. Oh, we just made it, and I'm not gonna lie, it's amazing. It's really yeah, it's, it's a real, it's, 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 it's a rite of passage. It's like yeah. you know, it's like when uh, young Aboriginal men go out into the uh, outback and become <laughs> men. <laughs> it's exactly that. Yeah, but it's except exactly it's the same. it's the Los Angeles overprivileged kid version of it. You know, right, right, and it takes maybe like nine adults with a degree to put together. Yeah, that's a track. right. Son, one day you will move from Duplo to Lego. <laughs> You're right? No. Why? What's wrong? Is it because I did this with my hands? Yeah. Is that weird? Well, I'm Is just... it focusing on my mouth? Does my mouth look weird? Yeah, and, you're, and you're, you've got a, a viral infection, I heard. No, no, so I don't have a viral it's infection over. anymore. It's gone. Yeah, no, yeah. I had it. Oh, it's terrible. Did I mean, you get one? You know how I feel about germs and... Oh, yeah, that's just, right. Well, it's all right. Get yeah, it over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, just on. get that out of the way. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, you're the one that's touching your face. You're the one that needs to... Yeah, no, I, my, my face <laughs> isn't full of germs. <laughs> Do, are you really a germaphobe? No, I actually have gotten over it. Really? Yep. <laughs> Have. Shall we test that? Anyway? <laughs> Let's bring out some things for you to touch. Don't know! Wow, you, no, don't do that. That's been in my mouth. <laughs> Actually, do it as long as you want. I, I was just, I was just doing this to prove that I'm over it. Well, yeah, but now you, I've got a lot of cooties on that thing. <laughs> don't touch! No, no, no! Don't, don't. That's very dangerous. That's that's got stuff in it that you mustn't oh, have. It's not good. It's not. Oh, you're not supposed to drink it? No, it's hand sanitizer. That's what's wrong. <laughs> I was not using it correctly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you watch the Adult Swim, the cartoons? I do. I do as well. I watch. Actually. I watch the Adult Swim. The cartoons. Do you watch Adventure Time with Finn and Jake? I've seen, I, I love, love Adventure Time amazing. with Finn and Jake. Ah, oh, it's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. See, that's a TV show, not some old. And a skeleton. <laughs> the hell, man. How you doing, darling? Nice to see you. Hi, Jeff. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Well, you guys know each other? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good party last week. Great yeah, party. Yeah. That was a good one. That was great. All yeah. the Legos, man. That was awesome. We hey, oh, hey oh, knock man. it off. You guys are yeah. full of it. That's ridiculous. Did you go to a lot of Hollywood parties? In your leather uh, dress? In my leather dress. Yeah. Oh, here comes Chalk with her leather dress on again. It's not going to happen, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you go to a lot of... Oh, you can't, really. you got a kid. I mean, well, it doesn't stop you. You take them with you. <laughs> he no. still fits in the little Bjorn. You just strap him no, on. He would, no, at four. You can't put the Bjorn. You'll do your back in if you put them in there at four. Also, it looks weird. It looks like the circus has come to town or something. <laughs> wow, look at Cirque du Soleil with a, a little one and then a big one at the back. <laughs> do you like the Cirque du Soleil? I'm obsessed with the Cirque du Soleil. Are you really? Yes, I saw O. And Is that the, that's the one the about the one. orgasm. <laughs> yes. That's, that's where they that's all perform about. acrobatic tricks and then... Oh, so. I, missed the, I missed that that was the, uh, the undertone. I didn't realize that. It, I think it, it, okay. it's not that. It's O it's like... different O, different... Yeah, it's French. It's French for O, like O is for, for, for water. water. Yeah. Yes, there was a French girl here last week. We got on great. Alors, toi et moi aussi, ça va? Do you speak French? Bien sûr. Tous mes cours en français depuis la maternelle. 
You're really doing a number on me with the French and the leather dress, I gotta tell you. I'm, I might have to drink some of that hand sanitizer. <laughs> hey, um, how did you pick up French? Did, did you live in France? No, I um, took all of my classes in French since kindergarten. Ah, really? You went yeah. to the French school? I did. Wow. Math, science, gym. Gym in French? Gym in French. Le bol! Le bol! Mais Sarah la gang la chuchote la bouche. This is fantastic. You should make movies in France. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah, that'd be... <laughs> if, you could, if you could organize that, that would be, that great. Would be great. There's great. a movie. We, were, we had the girl on last week had done this movie. About, it was a love affair between two women who kiss and make out and have sex in this movie. You should do one of those. Okay. <laughs> great. And then, and then send it to me and I'll send it to the French. <laughs> to do a lesbian scene in a movie? I have not. I've had to do some lesbian kissing. Oh, well, well I think we all have. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But on camera, no. Yes, no, I was on camera. This is making me very happy all of a sudden. <laughs> I feel this is going in the right direction. Well, I mean, I think, you know, have you ever done any acting in France? You should. You're clearly fluent in French. I would, I, I would love to do that. Well, you've never I, even thought about it. You must have thought about it. I, I, you know, I'm Canadian. We don't really think outside the box. You just oh. sort of see, like, what's in front of you. And oh, of course, it's French. Yeah. Is it French-Canadian French? Oh, boy. We... Oh, you see, there, you there's your not. problem. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're a bit funny about that. They are. Yeah, because they think you guys sound... <laughs> <laughs> which, of course, you don't. We don't. No. A little bit. Well, kind of. <laughs> Did you watch the uh, Canadians in the Olympics, the Canadian curling team? That was pretty sexy, wasn't it? Oh, it's These so, women, like... It's uh, so... uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I've got to push the stone away. <laughs> then the other girls are kind of brushing, 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 brushing. And then chasing and... Chasing and brushing, oh. Slipping on the ice. Yeah, slipping on the ice. No, I didn't, no, it's when they lean over the stone and... Uh, yeah, just yeah. the little extra... Mm. Yeah, I like... I like um, did you ever do uh, curling? My highlight of, the, of thing? the Olympics was the, the commercial... Um, that the Canadian Institute of Diversity and Inclusion released. Did you see this? No. It's amazing. You're gonna watch it immediately after we part. Um, it's basically a luge, slow motion on this luge, like two guys getting ready to luge, and it's like they're pumping back and forth and okay, back okay. in their tight outfits. Yes, and then, I'm gonna watch it. Yes, yeah, I and am. And yeah. to music. And then the tagline is, the Olympics have always been a little bit gay. And I was like, I have never been more proud to be Canadian wow, than in this moment. That's kind of great. <laughs> All right. Fair news, then what about the mayor of Toronto? That's a completely different side of the thing. I mean, I yeah. think the, the Canadians are quite, I have a suspicion they're quite okay with it somehow. Oh, I think everybody loves it. I think it feels like we're like, finally, we got a bit of edge. <laughs> you know? It wouldn't go that far, you know? <laughs> I mean, oh, well, a little bit, I guess. I mean, he's... But you're not from Toronto. You're from the other bit. Yeah, the other side. Yeah. What's the... Vancouver, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's very polite and kind of... Vancouver's like kind of... It's, I like Vancouver. There's lots of sailing and outdoor stuff. Do you all do all that? Yeah, yeah. I, grew, I used to sail race. Sail race? <laughs> yes. I never won anything. I, I mean, I did get best junior pirate, but that was just for, that's like the one medal I've ever won in my life, actually. Best I, junior pirate? Yeah, I was, I, we had to dress up for one of the races as a pirate, and I got best junior pirate. I have a plaque. <laughs> Can I see the outfit? <laughs> Are you wearing it now? <laughs> That's what I decided to wear today. No, it's, <laughs> it's nice. I, I love it. Do you, you don't sail race anymore? You don't do any outdoor no, stuff? It's L.A. you got to no. stay indoors. You have to. You can't yeah. go inside. It's so unsafe. It's too dirty. There's no, not enough Purell in the world. For yeah, that. oh, come on. <laughs> but you're here all the time now, right? Yeah. You should, are you going to become an American citizen? I already did. You did? Yes. Oh. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Did you get your like, tattoo yet? <laughs> Oh, maybe I'm not a legitimate. Yeah, one. yeah, no, you got to get your tattoo. I got mine oh, when I. See. Yeah, when I became a citizen, I, I got this. <laughs> Join or die. Yeah. Okay. You know what that is? Join or die? Yeah, it's a like, cartoon that uh, Benjamin Franklin did in the Pennsylvania Gazette in 1754. It is the first symbol of the United Colonies that became the United States. That's what that is. That's very cool. Yeah, it is very cool. You can get one. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it right here. Well, if you're going to get it, don't get a tattoo there, though.
because that really hurts. That's very hurty. Oh, that's very hurty. Yeah. Do you, you don't have any tattoos? I have no tattoos. I, was I think it's gonna time. Get, I, I think was going to get. I was going to get one recently. I was actually going to get one. Well, I just overcame one of my biggest fears. Which is? Germs. Get your therapy pipe. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Um, what is your biggest fear? Well, okay, sharks. Sharks. Well, I have told Not you this before. As long as you stay out of the water, the shark is completely harmless. Hey, I know you've told me this, but this was the problem, is I actually got into the water. This is your first mistake. <laughs> <laughs> It was. I, I was in El Salvador a couple of days ago. Okay, why? I went with this awesome organization called One Kid, One World, and okay. they rebuild schools, and it was an amazing experience. This sounds experience. like a, a good thing to do. It was an incredible experience. And uh, I feel bad doing the accent. For <laughs> I know, but I like it. It's okay, good okay. Um, and then uh, one afternoon, we got to have a surfing lesson, mm -hmm. and I was like, yeah, totally, I'd love to. And then um, <clears throat> I have an irrational fear of sharks. No, 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 there's nothing irrational about it. They'll bite a girl. <laughs> yes, but mine, mine was like in a swimming pool. Cool. Like in, in when I was a kid, I would hear like the -na 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 like as I was getting into the water in a pool. Like I in Vancouver? In Vancouver. In a pool in Vancouver, you're ex expecting a shark attack? I, well, I would hear the, the sounds and I couldn't pass red, which is a very early level of a swimming badge in Canada because I couldn't turn my back to the water because I had to keep an eye out for the fins like going down. So that's why it was irrational. No, yeah. irras fear sharks is rational. I mean, they have rows of sharp teeth, rows of teeth. Yes, they're very, so very dangerous. I've swum with them. I've told you this. You I I can't believe you act like how could you put your body in that in, in like I've put my body in even worse places. <laughs> I walked into that. Swimming, swimming with sharks was actually one of the more sanitary places I put my body. <laughs> At least I was underwater and the sharks were clean. Yeah, but really yeah, a lot of teeth. Very frightening, yeah, yeah. So I went, so I went surfing and the surfing instructor didn't speak any English and I didn't speak any Spanish, but the one thing he kept saying was, relax, 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 because I think my head the entire was time he was Dracula? looking for the fins. He sounds like he was he a, was. relax, relax. <laughs> one shark, two, two, one, two, shark. <laughs> He was, he was. Really? And, and did you see any sharks then? No, but I mean... Because they're not there. <laughs> like, being, being afraid of a matter. shark in the water is like being afraid of a bear and so not going for a walk outside. They're not everywhere, you know. Yeah, but sharks can travel up to 56 kilometers per hour. What about bears? That, not 56 kilometers per hour. If they're in a car. Yeah, that's true. That's true, but then I feel like by the time they get out of the vehicle, which they probably don't do gracefully, you probably have time to climb a tree. But do you know that the only animal in the world that will stalk you is a polar bear? It I will did not. It will stalk a human. And what it will do is that once it knows a human, it will follow it. Like, once you get on the plane, it'll be a few rows back. <laughs> like, with a, a newspaper and a hat, it'll be like, Arr! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll follow you home and then wait until you, like, turn out the lights and then it'll be outside. <laughs> and then it'll phone you and you'll be like, ah, ah, and then you'll trace the call and they'll say, it's coming from inside the house. <laughs> and they're like, ah. What does it sound like? It just, ah. That's yeah, yeah, that's, that's But you know what it is. It's a polar bear. It's they're polar very, bear. you know, you don't mistake. What is that, a, a, a marmoset? It's a polar bear. You know what it is. <laughs> yeah, but polar bear stalking you versus... Coming at you 56 kilometers per hour with eight rows of teeth. Yeah, no, they're pretty dangerous, I guess. Well, just don't get in the water again. You'll be fine. Yeah, it's probably... No, it's a wise choice. So I guess I didn't really overcome my fear. Because I'm not... We have to take a commercial break. <laughs> so that I can overcome my fear of being fired. <laughs> we'll be right back with Sarah Chalker. Right there. I'm here with Sarah Chalk, who was telling me all about a lot of stuff. Anyway, we've just found out it was the longest ever segment we've ever done in the show, in the history of the show. I'm so honoured to be Yeah, but we're out of time. Moment. We don't have time for you to say hello to you. But maybe it also just means like I talk too much. <laughs> no, 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 I think, you know what it was? I think you started talking, and I became sort of hypnotised by your voice and your dress and your... Uh, I was also using a medallion, I don't know if you saw it, that was moving from side to side. Do you think you could hypnotize me? Yes. Go ahead then, do it. <laughs> I want to take my clothes off. <laughs> I tried hypnosis once. Did you really? Hypnobirthing. Didn't work. So what, you didn't have a baby? I had the baby, but it really hurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, then so, don't do that. No. <laughs> We're out of time. What do you want to do? Awkward pause, dance with a horse. Dance with a horse. Alfredo, strike up the band! Let's let it go! 
If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit llstickets.com. All right, everybody, all right. Uh, now, closing out their triumphant week with us, performing a track of their self-titled album. It's called Bad Blood. Please welcome, for the last time this week, but not the last time, Roddy Hart and the Lonesome Fire. Play us out, boys. Yeah.